So another international break is upon us and unexpectedly the rumour mill for Rangers for the summer is already starting to fly. Now within the squad there are obvious players where a lot of Rangers fans are probably expecting to leave the door this summer. The destination they're going to we don't exactly know yet but there are a lot of players, well a few players within the Rangers squad that Rangers fans aren't expecting or would desperately like to keep who are rumoured to be wanted by other clubs. So first and foremost we've got the obvious rumour of Borna Barisic going to Trabzonspor. Now this is a rumour that's been you know put into the media quite a lot over the past few weeks and we all knew that Borna Barisic was going to go for the exit door and it seems to be that the Croatian has negotiated personal terms with Trabzonspor. He'll join the Turkish team later on in the summer and to be honest you'll struggle to find a Rangers fan that isn't probably delighted by that now I will say that Borna Barisic has been a good servant for the club in the time that he's been there he's been for a long period of time a mainstay in the start of living for that left back position but you know towards the end of his Rangers career a lot of fans you know labelled him with terms such as you know shite bag and all of that kind of stuff and I think he lost a lot of trust. A lot of trust was lost between Borna Barisic and the fans, especially after that old firm performance that you probably all remember. A lot of backwards passing, a lot of safe passing, you know, a lot of times he's not really aggressive off the ball as well. So I think that almost the ship has definitely sailed between Rangers fans and Borna Barisic and personally you know, I'm of the same opinion. I'm kind of glad to see him go. It's a decent wage to get off the wage book to reinvest in either the left back position or other areas of the pitch. And to be honest, all I'd say to him is, you know, good luck. Thanks for the efforts. Now, obviously, this is a rumour that's just kind of floating about in the background and it's been a massive talking point for Rangers fans throughout this season and that is Fabio Silva with one of the Wolves accounts Say, reporting that Wolves may be willing to sell Fabio Silva. Obviously, he was once rated 35 million, but Wolves are rumoured to be looking for about 15 million for Fabio Silva. And my opinion on it is that yes, Fabio Silva, I dare say that if we got a hold of him permanently, he would be one of our key players for a long, long time under the duration in which we have him. However, Fifteen million is a massive price tag for the one player, and I think when you're a selling club like Rangers, that buying you know you can buy a number of players, number of promising up and coming players for the same price tag, and as I said, for a selling club, you're kind of looking to invest in as many of those opportunities as humanly possible. That price tag may end up swaying Rangers if the rumours are to be true. And to be honest, like, I don't know how the budget is or will be this summer. Obviously, it depends on if we get into the Champions League and things like that. And am I desperate to keep Fabio Silva? I'd say, yeah, I, I think he's put in a pretty solid performance over the course of the season. He's a really talented player. I've liked seeing him play out wide on that left-hand side where we needed him. He can fill in in places up top where we need him. However, I just can't see Rangers spending that kind of cash on one player. It doesn't really make sense. Now, speaking of 15 million... Let's move on to these Jack Butland rumours. Now, the rumours over Butland are going to be, they're always going to be there considering he's floating in and around, you know, a consideration for the England squad. Will he go to the Euros? Obviously, he never got chosen for the upcoming international break, the one we're in just now, which in my opinion, if he did get into that squad or does eventually get into that squad, you know, Rangers will pretty much be rubbing their hands because it's going to gener generate a lot of interest. And there's always going to be rumours flying about that he will go back down south, but I can't really see having just joined Rangers, I can't really see that being a fee less than the reported £15 million. Pounds. Now, if we does end up moving on to the likes of a uh, you know, mid-table or I don't really think top six, but if he does end up moving back down south, let's be honest, £15 million in the bank for a free player is a great bit of business, but it would be 
absolutely gutting to see him go. Obviously, Rangers have had a good track record in the past when it comes to having keepers. Jack Butland is one of those players that even when we weren't playing so well at the start of the season under a different manager, he was one of those players that shone in each and every performance and it'd be gutting to lose him because he's an incredible shortstop, he's an incredible keeper. Yeah, it would be absolutely devastating. Can I see it happening? <sighs> Probably not unless it's above that £15 million price tag because at the end of the day we always say oh, if any team wants them it's got to be silly money but let's be honest we said that about Alfredo Morelos and thought to ourselves we should have offloaded him a lot earlier at the end of the day Rangers need to be a lot sharper when it comes to receiving a reasonable bid for certain players as fans as well we're going to have to get used to the fact that, that we need to let players go is how this club generates revenue at the end of the day we're not a buying club we're a selling we're a developing club now this is a rumor that just doesn't really seem to be going away it's been reported by a lot of different journalists and it's kind of popped its head back up during this international break as well and that's that James Tavernier seems to be a legitimate target for the Saudi Pro League, which isn't really surprising considering he's one of the top scoring defenders in the world right now. I mean, he's an absolute key player for Rangers. His numbers do all the talking. In my opinion, it, I can't really see it happening. There's only one way it would happen, and that's if it was silly money for us to part way with our captain, or if it was silly money for James Tavernier who might be thinking, you know, might be worth getting a, a, a big payday towards the end of his career because, you know, he is getting older even though he's still at the top of his game. It would have to be completely silly money for both parties, for both Rangers and James Tavernier and to be honest, it would be so hard for us. We'd need to use that money to find a replacement, a significant sum to find a replacement because, as I said, the numbers over the past few seasons are pretty much, if he keeps adding to them, they're almost going to be irreplaceable. We might never see another attacking fullback with the impact in the game and the numbers he's got you know, going forward. So it would be absolutely devastating to lose him. I know there's a lot of fans that, that, that kind of think that um, there are other fullbacks out there that are maybe more defensive. If that's their opinion and the way we want to play. We want to have that right back that's defensive. But it seems to be under Clement that Tavernier's only developing further and further and further and setting new highs every single time he plays. He's getting used completely differently under Clement, coming inside a lot of the time, joining the midfield than he has done with any other manager before and I can only see that a benefit is there's a reason he's our key man and as I said it's it's going to take absolutely crazy money for Rangers to part ways with James Tavernier in the summer. Now as I said there's a good few players in this squad that we do really need to offload there's players like for the likes of you know Borna Barisic who seems to be on his way out the door, players like Scott Wright as well, all of these players that are on the fringe of the team and don't really get a shout unless there's injuries or unless we you know, really, really need them but it, uh, for me I feel like it's absolutely essential especially going into a second you know, modern attempt at the Champions League that we keep those key players, we can't really afford to have to build or rebuild a, a spine of a team with the likes of Tavernier and Jack Butland moving on. I think that the spine of that team needs to stay and we need to keep working to supplement those players. I really just hope that, obviously, if we win the title, the idea of going into that Champions League for another attempt in the past few years and giving it a good crack this time, obviously it'll not be hard to better the last time we were in the Champions League but obviously the team has developed significantly since then and I feel like we've got a manager in place that can deal with the pressures of being in the Champions League at the end of the day it's the most lucrative competition in football we almost need to perform to be able to close the gap in finances to Celtic as well as push on further as a club individually and I really do believe the spine of this team is absolutely essential 
in helping to make that happen. So what I want you to do is I want you to jump into the comments, let me know what you think of the rumours within this video, what you think about my opinions on the rumours, have you any opinions on the rumours, have you heard any rumours yourself, jump into the comments, get that discussion going, remember to like and subscribe, the Blue Sea Channel memberships are still available, the link to that is down in the description, next to our socials, and I'll see you next time.